Okay, YouTube. Um, this is going to be my uh, my version of the Solon 125. I got a slightly different uh, power uh, solar panels. I've uh, I have created the uh, the wiring harness uh, based off the video on Solon One. And over here are my connectors and my uh, extra wire and my two-sided tape. These are my four corner. Uh, my corner pieces with the beveled ends out for the, the square and these are from Solon 125 the uh, support to keep the batteries from rolling around uh, this is the charge controller from the Solon 1 that Solon 1 recommended so I got that I got all the parts to uh, get going <clears throat> and of course I have my uh, lithium phosphate batteries I'm only doing the 10 amp hour uh, build so with that I will uh, and of course I got my uh, my uh, fuse blocks and my uh, screw packages to where I could uh, link these in in uh, series so that way they'll make up 12 volts and of course my velcro to velcro everything to the back of this so that's what I have I'm gonna get started and uh, Hopefully I'll see you again. Till next uh well next video. Oh yeah, almost forgot. I also did buy the uh the Samlex uh power inverter, the 250 watt, like the one that uh the Solon One uh, video suggested. Anyway, there's uh there's uh that's that's the parts and I got my uh, PVC piping in the house I gotta go back and get that okay as you can see my solar panel is slightly different well it's a lot different than the uh, Solon 125 uh, panel that they use their configuration is like this and I believe like that well that's not really gonna work for me because my batteries are my panel sits lower, or I should say, yeah, it's, it's a little further away from the pipe, so I gotta reconfigure my uh, components, and I'm gonna come up with, uh, I'm gonna put that right there, and my uh, charge controller right here, and then, uh, you know, with the uh, the zip tie holders, I'm gonna I'm gonna run the wires from the battery to here. I'm sorry, from the solar panel to here. Try to make it look really neat, and then uh, run my power to my to my uh, 50. You know, my 250 watt solar. I'm um, not solar, but uh, power inverter. I'm gonna set them up to where I can run them here in kind of a, like a like a nice cut corner like an S shape so that way it looks neat and then uh, and then I probably gonna come out of uh, this side down straight to for my batteries to come into here so it's gonna it's gonna kind of a straight SL but that's what I got that's what I'm so I got a the wiring harness that I made was for the dimensions of the tubes for the original Solon one so this is I'm gonna I can't use this so I'm gonna have to save this and probably buy some more probably buy another Solon one panel or I should say buy a Solon one panel and um, and then build it according to theirs um, these are going to be pretty much okay I have some other uh, tubing or I should say another some other um, foam that I could use to uh, increase the distance I can cut it cut that in half spread it out and that way I can still have it here and then I'm gonna I'm gonna rig something else up because it's a longer tube I'm gonna rig something else up the batteries are gonna the bottoms are gonna sit on this side and then the tops gonna come out here and I'm gonna have to rig something up to keep the bottoms from uh, you know you're running in and out you know running up and down the tube so that's what I've uh, run into on this build so that's what I'm now 
I'm going to go inside and re-solder my uh, new wiring harness based off of my uh, tube here. So I'm going to take this rig inside and then uh, and, I, and I got some uh, 12 gauge uh, regular wire that I'm going to wire this with. So I like this uh, sponge or this soft, uh, this soft wire. It's really easy to work with. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go with the uh, the original, uh, the regular stuff, the stranded 12 gauge stranded wire. So, all right, next video, or I should say, uh, until next time. You know what they say? It's not over. Uh, the opera isn't over until the uh, fat lady renders her vocal, get, uh, gives us her vocal rendering. And I botched that one, but you know what I mean. Okay, this is. Uh completed um, this is I had to modify the design as far as placement but everything else is basically the same all the components are the same except for the solar panel um, I had to rearrange my solar panel um, my uh, devices because I couldn't do them in the center because my wiring harness just I didn't want to cover up this uh, data plate on the solar panel this is a 20 watt solar panel um, polycrystalline I know the monocrystalline is better but this is what I had so this is what I did so I wired these I, I placed these side by side and uh, my batteries are right here um, positive up is up here negative is down here and you can see I've got holes coming down and then around and I utilized the frame a little bit with the holes that were already pre-existing and I threw some zip ties and I kinda kinda neatened it up a little bit so they don't look a little crazy you know, like I said, this is my uh, 250 watt uh, power inverter, and this is the charge controller. Right now, all I got to do is set the charge time. I should say the charge volts on this, so that way it charges at a specific, and you know, specific. It it uh, it'll stop charging at a specific uh, voltage, and it'll uh, start charging at when the batteries get to us, uh, you know, a specific uh, drain voltage. Anyway. Uh, with the ambient light that I have on here with the lights, it's, it's still showing me in charge mode, which I think is pretty cool. But anyway, that's my version of the Solon 1 25. Uh, this is the 10 amp. Um, eventually, I'm going to... I never, I didn't fasten none of these down. I just used zip ties to put them down temporarily. Um, I'm going to add four more batteries for the 20 amp um, version, but I'm going to have to buy those batteries a little slower. But... This is my version of the Solon 125. All my parts are basically from the Solon 1 website. Um, this was from the Solon 1 website. This was from the Solon 1 website. Um, the original wiring harness I had gotten through them. Uh, a couple of things I forgot to do. I forgot to put my uh, pop my fuse blocks in. I was in such a hurry to put it together. Um, when I add, when I go to add my uh, my uh, other batteries or you know probably when I get in another weekend I will take and uh, I will pull these apart because my wires here are a little too short my positive wires a little too short for what I wanted so uh, then with that I will definitely add my power blocks in or I should say my uh, uh, fuse blocks in there at a later time make this wire a little longer nothing's glued everything fit real tight so I'm good there so anyway that's my version of Solon 1 have a good day